Hello, I'm Howard, pastor of the Roseville New Church, and welcome to Spiritual Shorts. As we wrap up one year and prepare to step into the next, I've been doing some thinking. You know, I've written quite a few sermons for New Year's, and usually I write about renewal. It's a pretty standard topic for this time of year. Uh, but I'm shaking things up a bit this year. I'm going to flip the script, so to speak, and focus on not so much what we're going to do as what the Lord has already done for us in the prior year. You know, it, when you think about a development of the idea of faith, it's actually quite easy to start off with a very simple belief in God as children. You know, as children, we learn about his miracles and his power. We learn that Jesus said, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. We hear of the amazing stories about calming storms, healing the sick. And, and when we hear these stories, we're in awe. But, you know, then we do grow up and, and we see the world's troubles. We see wars, we see injustice and sickness. And it makes us question things. You know, if God is all powerful and all good, why all the chaos? But, but here's where things get very interesting. You know, the writings of Emanuel Swedenborg give us deep knowledge about how God works, not just that God exists, but specifically how he works in our lives. They show us his power and how he manages both the intricacies and the nuances of our daily lives. And at the same time, the huge thing that is our eternal souls. And yes, God knows everything down to the very number of hairs on our heads. So, so why isn't everything just perfect? Well, Swedenborg notes that divine providence focuses on eternal matters and focuses on temporal matters, those little minutia of our daily lives, he focuses on them only as they coincide with the eternal matters. You know, God's managing everything, but doing so with an eye to what lasts forever, not just the here and now. And that's a game changer in how we can see the world and see the things around us. Jesus is asked by a man to settle his inheritance dispute with his brother. And Jesus responds, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? And Jesus is saying that he's focused on eternal matters, eternal issues, not just the, the minutia of our daily physical lives. He's He's teaching us and through this story to look beyond what is temporary. So as we enter this new year, let's, let's do something different. Let's look back at the past year, not just to count our blessings or regrets, but to see how God has been working in our lives. It's not about ignoring the challenges we've faced. It's about seeing them in the light of God's eternal function. Sure, we may have stumbled. We may have made mistakes. <laughs> may. We have made mistakes. But you know, think about the good things that happened. Even when we were far from perfect, Good things do happen for us. And that's divine providence at work. It's God allowing us the freedom to make choices, 
yet guiding us towards something better, something greater. You know, rem remember that the Lord's end in view is not the here and now. We are destined for something greater, destined for heaven. A and in fact, understanding this help uh, helps us to see our trials and our joys in a new light. It's it can strengthen our faith, especially when things don't make sense in this world. The Lord says to the prophet Jeremiah, for I know the plans I have for you, plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Why don't we look back on our, the last year in preparation for the new, reflecting on the times when the Lord was working for us and we didn't even know it. Let's step into the new year with a renewed faith, looking back with gratitude and forward with hope. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Spiritual Shorts and a Happy New Year. God bless.